I've not seen such bravery. The Oregon Trail was a series of games that chronicled the journey to Oregon that many took during the 1800s. The games were popular not only during my journey through elementary school, but through schools across the country. The Oregon Trail games became staples of the edutainment genre, so it's only natural that MECC, the developer of the series, created some spin-offs to try and cash in on the gold they'd struck. With the Yukon Trail, MECC did this quite literally, by basing a game around the 19th century Klondike Gold Rush. Now, I haven't played this one, but it seems to be rather similar to the Oregon Trail in that it's trying to teach children about life around a specific historic event. Enter the Amazon Trail, a game released in 1994. The Amazon Trail, well, as far as I know, it's just the Amazon River. And it's hard to guess what specific time period the developers might pick. I mean, it's not like the Amazon River ever became not important. Now the game doesn't cover a specific period of history like the Oregon Trail did. It covers... well we're gonna figure that out together. Specifically we're gonna take a look at Amazon Trail 2 and just take a moment to really appreciate this box art here because it looks like the early 90s just kind of threw up all over it. When I think about the Amazon River the first three things that come to my mind are soccer moms in denim vests, Microsoft Word Art, and neon pink. Mmm. Alright, okay, couple of questions here. I'm a bit confused about the font choice. I mean, that's a concern that carries over from the cover. I mean, this doesn't really scream Amazon Trail to me. It screams, I don't know, Mattress Depot? And this thing over here looks like someone saw the title screen and thought the same thing. You know, it just doesn't look Amazon enough. Just throw some tribal crap in there. Oh, that looks perfect. And hey, you know what? My daughter drew this picture of a... Uh, I don't know, I think it's a cheetah or something? Think you could put that in there? Ah, oh, it's perfect. Alright, new quest and let's go with the middle difficulty because, I don't know, this cheetah thing is really making me feel like this isn't gonna be that hard of a game. I think we can handle it. We walk into the Museum of Ancient Art and make a beeline for this artifact. Like, I don't wanna see anything else, I just gotta see this, what is it, a bear medallion? Only it's not a bear because the drawing made by a three-year-old turns into a drawing made by a four-year-old and we can clearly see that it's a leopard, maybe? The Amazon rainforest is calling to you. The birds and the mammals, the flowers and the trees invite you to discover their secrets. Yeah, okay, so we're supposed to uncover the secrets of the birds, mammals, flowers, and trees of the Amazon. Silly me, I completely forgot about the infamous Amazon tree and flower mystery. Now I'm super invested in this game. The ancient ones have a message for the world. They want you to deliver it for them. But, you must prove yourself worthy. Follow me now into the blue mist. Come with me to the mighty Amazon River. Okay, so from what I can tell, the Ancient Ones want to tell the world something, so they've enlisted the help of a cartoon leopard to hang out inside a piece of art at a historic art museum so that he could meet me and tell me to follow him to the Amazon River so that I can unlock the secrets of the birds, mammals, flowers, and trees. Ah, I remember the days when a game was like, hey, this is the Oregon Trail, now go on the Oregon Trail. Those were the days. I have brought you to Belém a great city at the mouth of the Amazon River. From here, you must find the source. You must travel all the way up the Amazon. You must find Bill Cabamba, a hidden fortress in the Andes Mountains. Be brave on your journey. I will be watching you. Was that last voiceover recorded in a busy construction site on a beach or something? I'm not 100% sure what he said, but I think we have to find a fortress called Vilcabamba in the Andes Mountains. And we'll do so with the power of tourism. Our adventure starts at Amazon River Tours, and we're greeted by a cast of five fashion divas. And one of these four will become our tour guide. First, there's Elena, the navigator in orange. Finding your way on the Amazon is very difficult. There's Zhao, the strongest tour guide of all, a fact he likes to remind us of by flexing every two seconds. Of all the guides in Balain, I am the strongest. Rosa, who obviously didn't want to be taken seriously at all because she's wearing all brown and carrying this awful looking spear. I can show you the best places to catch fish. <laughs> Sure you can. Finally, we have Miguel, the pastiest of them all. I'm the best guide in ballet. 
Miguel looks less likely to be the best guide in Belém, and more likely to be the leader of the best group of Cub Scouts in your neighborhood. But leading me down the Amazon? I mean, this guy looks like he hasn't even seen the sun in 20 years. How is he gonna help me on this journey? I'm studying to be a doctor. A doctor, you say? Well, considering that my trip to Oregon was cut short due to an accidental gunshot, I would say that having a doctor by my side might help out. Also, I kind of want to see if this guy will burn to a crisp while we're out there. Next, we have to pick our supply package, but graphs are just uh, so boring, so I'm just gonna pick one randomly. I'm sure we'll be fine. It's finally time to continue to the Amazon River. We don't even have time to stop and wonder why the continue arrow is facing backwards. Or do we? Hmm... Instead of just watching a line crawl across a map like we did in Oregon Trail 2, Amazon Trail 2 actually lets us navigate the river ourselves in our little canoe. Unfortunately, I have no idea where we're going, so we're forced immediately to ask Miguel where to go. According to the map, we should be right about here. I can only hope that he prescribes medicine as confidently as he navigates. Not two seconds into the trip and he can only be like, we should be somewhere in this red box, maybe. I suppose we'll just keep heading west. I'm not totally sure where we're headed, but I'd guess it's like in this area. Well, here we are, out on the Amazon. It's so very, uh, exciting, I guess. Okay, what's happening now? <laughs> We have passed through the blue mist to another time and place. Okay, I guess I completely forgot about Amazon's famous magical blue mists. At least now we know that our animal friend is a jaguar though, so there's that. All right, let's see what we got here. Some water, some houses, some people. Wow, you know, I'm really glad we made this urgent break in our journey to Vilcabamba or wherever the fuck. Welcome to my home. Oh, I thank you. You have a lovely home filled with, from what I can tell, absolutely nothing. And dang it, you know, it's already getting kind of late, so I'm gonna go back to the river now. Bye. That woman has something to teach you. If you want to learn, go back and find out more about who she is. Oh, I see how it is. This isn't a magical jaguar god sending me on an amazing Amazon expedition. This is the teacher standing right behind my back and saying, Oh, hey, Ian, you were trying to have some fun there for a second, but you missed some learning. Why not go back and talk to that nice lady there? You probably recognize this. It's a banana. Oh, you see? You almost missed her telling you what a banana is. Have you ever heard of bananas? In the rainforest, you can find them near the top of small trees. Oh wow, look at all this other stuff I could eat if I ever happen to get stranded on the Amazon River. Thanks, Magic Jaguar. You have done well. The knowledge you have gained will help you on your journey. To mark your achievement, I will place this token on my shield. Oh, well, you know, if I had known I was gonna get a shield token, I would have tried twice as hard. I guess we made it out of the blue mist because we're back in our canoe. No time to relax, though, because... We're running low on fish. You might want to go fishing. Oh, I'm sorry, Miguel. Was my traveling through time and space to learn about bananas an inconvenience for you? Or is giving me attitude just part of the Amazon River Tour experience? Fishing is the equivalent to hunting in the Oregon Trail games, only instead of slaughtering your future food to death with a gun, which is fun and exciting, you do this. We. So after getting some more fish so Miguel would stop whining, we're actually heading down the river again. Finally. We gotta make it to that... Where are we going again? I forget what we're even doing here, but at least I know what a banana is. Not long after we finish fishing, we're sucked back into the blue mist. This time so we can talk to Claudio and learn about his awesome national park. I am Claudio Villasboas. My brothers and I have recently convinced the Brazilian government to establish the Shingo National Park. But that's not super interesting to me, so let's just leave. There is more for you to do here. Oh, sorry, I mean, please, Claudio, tell me more. Turns out that there's a tribe of people on the Amazon River that want nothing to do with Claudio, his national park, or his stupid 
hat. Even though they want nothing to do with them, he asked us to track them down, so I guess we're gonna go do that. I suppose that the message from the guards can wait while I go do some soliciting. These people obviously want nothing to do with this guy because they're hiding way over here, keeping their distance. I gotta say, navigating this boat is harder than I expected it to be. I may or may not have gotten lost a couple of times. Aha, we're finally here, and could we really not have found anyone else to act as a person from a tribe living on the Amazon River? Like, I mean, just because you're wearing black, that doesn't make you look okay. I, I can't even look at this anymore, so let's just do this. There we go, much better. Okay, so are you guys gonna go to this reservation? Tell everyone to leave us alone. Of course not. What a waste of time. Glad we did it. The ancient one. With what you have done. So this seems to be the entire game, as far as I can tell. Long periods of sitting in a boat, most of the time just moving straight ahead and seeing nothing of interest. Then there's the blue mist segments, where you travel through time and space to help out famous figures like Henry Ford, because... I am Henry Ford. Why not? I gotta say, I miss having a party, like in the Oregon Trail. It feels really lonely and boring just being out here with Miguel. But my real problem started when I met Linda, an anthropologist who is sporting some belly button high hot pink shorts, which I hear are oh so trendy in the Amazon this season. Anthropologist is a scientist who lives with a community for long periods of time to study their way of life. After telling me what an anthropologist is, Linda just kinda stands there and does nothing. Jaguar tells us that she can help me meet an important person, but all she seems to want to do is smile at me and point at her clipboard. I think the game must be broken. I can't really do anything, so I guess I gotta disobey the jaguar god and leave this section early. I know that I ought not disobey our feline deity, but the temptation to sin only grew stronger. After a long, long, long period of just sitting in the canoe doing nothing, I finally traveled through another blue mist. This time we meet a colonel who's traveling with Teddy Roosevelt, who has apparently gone missing. Teddy Roosevelt, need your help. Sorry, Teddy, I've got to get to Vilcabamba for some reason. I don't really care what you're up to. Doesn't look like there's any consequence for skipping, so let's just move on. But as I left Teddy Roosevelt behind, I couldn't help but feel afraid, as though something horrible was about to happen. I had crossed the Jaguar God too many times, it seems, and it was time for him to strike back. The screen went black, and an ominous sound played. When in, I will... 30 seconds of silence follows, and then suddenly, we're at the main menu. Return you now to your home. The Amazon River hides many more secrets. I hope you will come back. And of course, there's no save file, so continuing is just not an option. What really bothers me is that I don't know what went wrong. In an effort to try and finish the game, I actually played it a couple more times, but kept running into the same problem in different areas of the game. Maybe my copy of the game is bad, maybe it's just a result of running an older game on a newer PC, or maybe, just maybe, maybe there is a Jaguar God and I just upset him too many times and now I can't play the game. Whatever the reason, it's just a real shame, because I think we were really close to discovering some of the secrets of the Amazon River. I bet there was something really good. Oh well. We have passed through the blue mist to another time and place. You know, this riverbank makes for a good rest in place. Hello, and thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like and a comment, and I will love you forever. Or for like, a second. You can also follow me on my social networks, check the description for those links. And if you want to see more of my videos, you should subscribe and check out my Oregon Trail 2 video. Or perhaps my Mall Tycoon 3 video. Just, uh, just give those a click.